Right, Serico is a, the best way to describe it is like a thin ceramic film that has got lots and lots and lots of really good ad attributes to it. it it's, re it's really amazing stuff. We, we decided to bring uh, the finishing of the risers back in house so we could keep control of it. Some of the, the, the good properties of uh, Serico are the, the scratch resistance of it, the chemical resistance of it, the, the, the wide range of colours, there's over like, there's over 200 colours that you can choose from so you can imagine our dilemma when we were coming to pick out colours which is why we're offering such a, a wide range to start off with. It flexes with the, the substrate so in, the, you know, in theory if you bang your riser or your product and it puts a dent in it, it doesn't necessarily chip off, it will form with the dent because it's, it's that good. The fact that you can clean it with pretty much any household product to you know, keep on top of your, you know, making it look nice, it is really, really good. We're offering 10 standard colours at, at the moment with uh, a further nine in like a special order. The range to do extra in the future is phenomenal because like I say, there's, there's over 200 colours to pick from. But we've, we've picked the ones that we think are the be better ones to start off with, uh, but there's nothing to say in the future that we won't offer more colours. So when the risers come off the CNC machines, they go into what we call a rumbler, full of little ceramic stones which help clean any of the excess oils off or anything like that, because they've got to be perfectly clean for when you Cerakote. First process is we do the rumbling, they're in the rumbler for about an hour and a half, cleaning and taking any burrs or little dents out. And then from that they go into a blast room and they get aluminium oxide blasted to put like a, an etch finish on it. And then from that they go into the paint booth where we put the, co the coating on, the Ceracote coating. then go into the oven for two hours to bake off. Once they are fully baked off, they go out to dry and then they're ready to assemble. Back in the past, you know, when my, my, my dad was around, we always used to do stuff and figure it out ourselves. So we decided to do something and then figure out how to do it. But I wanted to do a different way because it was the, the, the finish that we wanted. I wanted to go and learn how to do it properly rather than trying to figure it out and making mistakes. So I went on a training course at Cerakote to learn the process. Uh, Simon and Nemo at Cerakote were uh, fabulous guys that, that give so much information on the product and how to do it. And I'm so glad I did because it is totally different 
procedure to spray painting and putting Cerakote on. So I would have struggled figuring it out unless I did the, the course. So I'm all factory trained, got all the certificates. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud that, that we've got this because it's a fantastic product. Actually applying the coat and seeing it going from the, the, the bare metal and then having the full colour and then when it's out of the oven, you, the look of it, uh, when you see it, that it's, it's pretty much perfect every time. But it's, it took a while to get the hang of putting it on because they're quite awkward to paint because of all the different angles and the holes. So it was a bit of a learning process to find the best rhythm to apply in the coat. But now we've got it down, it, it's, it's so easy. The colour consistency, uh, because with anodising they're, they're dipped in a tank and they have to be in for a certain amount of time. If you take them out quicker or later, the colour the color shades change. So you're not always going to get the perfect colour every time. The, the other good thing is if we do get a reject in the Cerakote, we can now refinish it in-house, uh, strip it off and repaint it, whereas before we'd have to get them back from the anodizers, check them all off and then send them back to the anodizers which would then be a, a, you know, a longer process so we can fix stuff instantly. It's a lot more environmentally friendly as well, you know, the chemicals that are used in anodizing you know, and that sort of thing. So it's a lot more environmentally friendly. We can mix exactly the amount right of paint that we need to do a riser so there's not much wastage and this is why we, we pretty much paint to order now. So.